What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing a special challenge. Every single time I play a game, I'm going to be using the deck of the last opponent that I played. So I'm definitely going to be copying their hero. I'm obviously not going to know all 40 cards in their deck. They're not going to be playing all 40 cards during a regular game. Uh, but I'll do my best to sort of imitate it. Well, at least copy the hero and the theme. Maybe I'll try to improve the deck and put my uh, sort of... <laughs> um, spin on it but i'll definitely be using try to copy most of the main cards the opponent is using and definitely try to copy their theme so it's going to be a challenge in both playing but also in deck building um we're really just going to play five games today because i think for me building tech games my 10 decks today during one stream my head is going to explode there's definitely going to be a nice chunk of deck building uh, between each game. We're going to start off with just the old school Conjure Leap with Huge Giganticus, because why not? Uh, you're conjuring cards with your uh, space time. You guys know how this deck works. If you've been around this channel, you know how Conjure Leap works, and you're going to be using your Leap cards in order to make them cost more and more until eventually they turn into uh, a Zombot. Very Treasure is going to give you an expensive card uh, for a lot less, which you can teleport in. And again, if you're playing it for less and you Leap it, it still turns a 5 cost card. You play for 3, you Leap it, it still turns into a 6. Uh, Raptor, I don't think I used to run this, but I think it's a very powerful card. Good card play on three. It definitely has, uh, synergy with the teleports and with the leaping. And we will run, uh, Pogo Mug to give the deck a little bit of a base. You can bounce cards, uh, off the field. And then, again, Pogo is a very good card to leap itself, because it already got a lot of value. Little body turns into a five-cost card. Hell yeah, let's start off with this. We're just going to be playing, again, one game with Conjure Leap and uh, whatever the opponent's deck was. That is what we will be using. So this... This will be exciting. I don't think I've ever done this on stream before. So we're up against Rose. We'll have to pay attention. I'm going to need the chat, guys. Pay attention and keep track. I'm not going to be writing down every card they play. Oh, trust me. You don't want to see me have a stream like that where I'm trying... <laughs> I'm already multitasking like eight things here. Playing and explaining and keeping track of the score and moderating the chat. Anyway. Um, so we're going to do five games today, and we will do bets. If you think we're going to end up going four wins out of five, ooh, that's a lot to ask from a challenge like this. I'm going to say I'm going to try to make the decks competitive no matter what it is. So we're going to go for four out of five. If you think we can win 80% today, <laughs> starting off with Conjure Leap with the power, vote yes. If not, vote no. I wonder if I should actually play this first. And we'll play the HD power later. I think that's what I'm going to do. So 4 out of 5 is the bet. 4 out of 5 is the yes. 3 out of 5 is a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash from up. As, as per usual. So we actually go to fight that. Love to see it. Voting starts right now. Now we will use this. Oh, that's a good environment. I'll play it. Let's go. That's three damage. It's a hefty, hefty goat. So we can teleport in space time. We can also just pogo. I like the pogo play. Bruh. That's alright. Pogo doesn't do a damn, not a damn thing. Ugh. Hopefully no weed wet. Because we really want to leap this. Ah, oh, that's really lucky that opponent getting weed whack there. I guess if it was Mog, he would have not played it, we leap, and then he mods it anyways. I guess it's just as well. We'll teleport in space time and see what happens here. I'll probably use the regular teleport too since we don't really need the discount. Why is he not going after the goat and trying to open up this environment is the real question. I actually can get this card if I want. This turn. It means we don't have a teleport. I also could just space time. I think I'm gonna go for this. It's nice to teleport in this legendary when you get it. Let's see what... Oh my gosh. 
So it would have been really nice to teleport this and then leap it right into Zombot. Now we have to really watch out. Go to Fi's use. We have to watch out for Mog and for Cobb Cannon, I suppose. So we can't even play the Octo yet. I guess this is just as well. Do we want to leap a 4 4 or do we want to leap this card? We probably. Well, we can go 3 4 1. It's pretty good. It plays into Shrinking Violet. I think I'll just save the, the Brain Mender for next turn. We can always leap this 4 4. It's pretty good. Lawn Mower. I think we'll take the shot and leap it next turn. It doesn't take damage. Ooh, leapies. So we want the opponent to use the Mog. <laughs> we'll go Brain Vendor. Raptor. And we'll try to Octo Leap next turn, I guess. Frog. It's annoying. So we could cover the opponent's environment. This will again will either get frozen or transmogrified. We really like the opponent to use Mog here, I think. I'm gonna use. I mean, if they use Mog, then this kind of messes it up. So maybe we'll use the environment here. This just procs the block no matter what, so I, I'm, I'm still gonna save these slips. Mog and freeze. Either way, the opponent's not gonna have the Mog next turn, so that's fine. Maybe we'll get something with three attack, that would be amazing. Nope. The uh, opponent's gonna possibly have Dragon here. <laughs> the baseball zone. So it's gonna be Brain Vendor here. I'm gonna play the Octo here. It just makes the dragon less good. And if the opponent doesn't play dragon, we get Zamba. Easy. No dragon! There's that. Oh, we will take that Zamba for sure. Oh, show. Hell yeah. We're not, you know, again, the, the actually mob was used, so the opponent does not have a mob here. This is cool. I guess we'll leak this next. Uh, because of the heals, we're pretty far away. <laughs> Cuckoo, that's actually really good. Nice, aggressive card. Impactful 2-drop. Definitely above average there. It does have squash, too bad. So there's Cool Bean. Uh, we probably play for damage here. It's a little bit awkward giving him cards back, but this also, oh, well, I guess, always <laughs> leaps that anyway. So I guess we'll leap the Pogo now. It's the best leap on the board. <laughs> See what we get. That's pretty cool. Mime Garg, hell yeah. We have a Teleport to Spare, too, so when the opponent removes, we can keep on filling in. So the opponent's down to three health, no blocks left. Uh, was Freeze used? I don't remember. That's cool. Good hands. Bruh. There's the freeze. We are definitely gonna start leaping the mime into a six. Uh, and yep, no blocks. So this damage is healed, you know, the five. We're just outvaluing the opponent really badly. This will be a four also. Gondol. And King! Hell yeah! <laughs> so the King's a huge threat. See what the Rose with Ten Sun has in store. Cornucopia! Okay! So we win this trade. Ah, uh, the King dies. Uh, the only card that's playable from Teleport is Leap, so we'll just hold on to that. You got uh, Cornucopia, so bad. I really hope the Electric Booberry does not hit does not hit our gondola. We would really like the 7-drop. Please, please not. Yes! 
Face is okay. We can afford to take a little damage right now. There's Pogo. Hello, nurse, for some heals. Love to see it. It's fronted. That's nice. Um. I think we're going to play interdimensional zombie here and play Pogo. We don't really want to bounce a cornucopia back into his hands at this stage in the game. There's Hammer. And Hammer. Bruh. So I'm gonna pogo... Six damage to face wins. We're healing for a lot here. I think it's like this. It doesn't win, I mean, but... Teleport. Do we get? Raptor. I think the face damage is nice. Uh, we could have just done two. Huh. Maybe that's better. Unfortunately, neither of the cards... Well, on the block, if we don't use the superpower, this actually kills the blueberry before it does anything. And we have enough health to tank six damage anyway because of the nurse. It's a little bit less of a tempo play because the pogo dies here. We, but we, you know, we heal up. We rolled only one, so it's really good that we got nurse. Holy moly with that. We did also... Oh man, we didn't block. Okay, there's the block. Uh, how do we do this? Get a two drop? Alright, why not? It's brain runner. So our aid is Plankwalker, hopefully. Got it? Yes? So we have strike through here now. Barrel. Is that good? Yes! And he couldn't deal with the plane, so the phone wasn't running any removal for so long. I guess they had that long more. But we won! Okay, I have to copy this deck now. <laughs> I totally forgot I'm having so much fun playing Conjure Leap. I forgot I have to copy this person's dumb cornucopia deck. Alright, well, we're 1 0, and uh, it's time to build a Rose deck. It is time. Now, uh, again, if your live stream is ever lagging or your YouTube videos, uh, turn down the resolution. Sometimes it's just your internet's not keeping up with the with the pace. I'm not dropping any frames, so it's not my fault. Um, this is cool. I like all four of those decks. Let's get rid of one of these. All right, experimental rose deck. So let's start off with some of the cards the opponent was running. Uh, they were definitely running some Frogue. They were running some of this. It was really like a control cornucopia deck. I'm not going to run like four. <laughs> Such a bad card. What else? We saw Environments. We saw Hammer. Lawnmower. I'll run that as a 2 of. Uh, opponent used a squash at some point, right? So it's going to just be a control late game deck. I'm probably going to add some dragons. Uh, what else can we do for the early game? What did the opponent play early? I think I'll run some corns, Colonel Pulse, for the, for the early game. Or run some Cobb Cannon, just for some removal. Uh, Wingnut. Decent control card. You don't even have to run Cobb Cannon. If we're not running... Well, we have the, the ramp, like, the, like the, uh, the sunflowers from the... From the Solar Winds. I haven't ran Solar Winds in a long time. Um... Wow, you guys... So there was Cosmic Bean in the deck... I'll run one Cosmic Bean, just because we have no proof he was running more than one. <laughs> I think I'm with the, the terrible cards I'm going to run a one of. Solar Winds, Wingnut, Lawnmower, Toadstool, Astro Vera, Squash, Cosmic, Cornucopia, Melon. Oh, right, Melon. Oh, my gosh. I have to run Trash. Melon. Where's Melon Pult? <laughs> this deck, man. This deck is going to be a hot pile. A little bit of ramp. 
little bit of love. What else should I run? I feel like we're gonna need some legit finishers. I'm gonna run two Astro and two uh, Dragon to make the deck a little bit more powerful. Was the melon from Cornucopia? People are saying the melon came from Cornucopia. Guys, was the melon from Cornucopia? This is very important. Because I definitely don't want to run melon bolts in the control deck. Where is it? I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. He got button shroom. He was running melon. Alright, fine. I'll put melon back. He played the melon, guys. God damn melon. What else do we run in this deck? Uh, I feel like the early game is a little bit Valtez scantly. Scanty? I was going for scanty. Valtez scanty. <laughs> what do I run? I don't know. We can run this card. A little good old cosmic P. Let's run three of these. God damn it. Um, what other decent cards can we run? I should remember you have like two Brainanas in this deck. It's just a lot. I wonder if I should have Ramp. <sighs> Great Zucchini. <laughs> it might be a strategy deck. I don't know. I feel like we have enough late game though. I should really just add more solid control, huh? Let's run some catch-up mechanics and we'll call it a day. Alright guys. And we have to name the deck too. It's called... <laughs> it's Cornu... How do we put trash into the name? Maybe I shouldn't be throwing shade at everyone's deck, you know? Maybe that's going to be taking it a little too far. We'll call this the... the can, uh, Cornu Controlia. There. Cornu Controlia. Perfect name for this deck. Make a deck list. I'm just chilling at this point. I think this deck could do decently. Cornu Controlia. Am I running four Cobb Cannons? That's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta make it into a deck list. Gotta get said deck list up on the, on the stream. This is why I'm only doing five, five games today. There's no way I can do this ten times in one stream. It takes too long. I'm going to be exhausted. Alright, we're up against Infinity. So on the one hand, that's a very strong opponent, but on the, on the other, other hand, we get to use an Infinity deck next game. So I guess beating strong opponents gives you an advantage, and losing to terrible opponents gives you a disadvantage. Or beating weak opponents. Same thing, right? Uh, I think I'll keep both of these. Infinity's gonna have enough things to be able to ping with these Colonel Bolts. Awful name for an awful deck. I think this deck could do pretty well. Good old plant control. Pass. I think passing is good. We got the late game. The bets are already in the books. This is a pretty good card, though. Even if he fruit cakes, we gain such an advantage, so. I love the cutoff. The wing nuts are fine. Legit. This is like Control Infinity. This is not what I was expecting at all. Maybe he'll be running Plankwalker. That would be hilarious. We'll just drag in the Plankwalker. Raw. Uh, we actually have a perfect answer to this piece of trash. Why? What, where did this even... 
Where did he even get me this from? I'm very confused. Uh, we'll go Mondays. Colonel Pole. He played... Oh, he played a uh, Frosty Mustache, so he has a mustache, so that's fine. Bruh. See, I'll just remove the card. I don't know if that was his superpower or if he conjured it. I'm just gonna remove whatever he plays now. Wow. Wow, trash. Dry Cobb Cannon does a lot here because it kills this and this. And then this dies to the trade. Is there a better play? I think I like it. Wait a second. Could Dry Cobb Cannon kill the kill the guy? Kill there's no way it does that, right? Meaning, if this ability happens, and then this dies, and then it explodes, and then I proc my ability. I'm pretty sure... Okay, I'm gonna do this just for game mechanics. I'm 90% sure I'm not able to kill the Deadbeard with this, but if I can, this would be one of the most amazing discoveries we've ever made. I'm, I'm sacrificing six damage to face to experiment with a game mechanic. Explode. Oh! No! <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> it was worth a try, right? Worth a try. Think about it, though. If the first ability happens, and then that resolves itself, including creating a 4-3, so why would I not be able to kill the 4-3? Okay. <laughs> now I'm just... <laughs> Probably doesn't work. I think we would have known if that works, right? That's crazy. I mean, it's not... Okay, lightning bolt's that. <laughs> that would have been so good. It would have been the best day for every Jew. It's amazing how the opponent really only played like seven cards last game. What the hell is this? What do you think this is? Sorry. Wrong one. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just save these. Save them for value. But the, the opponent would have six fewer health. Six less health? I think six le less health, yes. If, uh, if all went well. Yeah, deadly this bitch. <laughs> Easy dragon. Going for the, for the deadly synergy. <laughs> Big fail. <laughs> I should put that in the fail comp, actually. I should put that in the fail comp. Game. Game two, turn six or seven. With Cub versus. Uh, now what do I do? We can go four and five. This man dead. He can play a one, a one cost trick right now. Thanks, Dragon. No! Wow, he got that from Quasar. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Well, at least we get the Cornucopia now. That's the good news. It's not like he's doing any damage to us here. Today's uh, Cornucopia is sponsored by Chop. Chop, the most annoying card when they get it from Quasar. Gotta be Cornucopia, right? Someone's calling me. No, don't! Stop calling me. It's the, it's the Chinese scammers again. It's a 1-800 number. I'm actually going to set up... I, I almost did it before today's stream, but uh, I'm gonna set up... Uh, Blue stack, so this doesn't have it's happening every single day. I wonder if there's a way for I don't know. I wonder if there's a way to automatically block like any number that starts with 1 800. That would be cool. Oh my gosh, does the opponent survive? That's crazy. Bungie? God damn. 
We need one damage. <laughs> oh no. Did you roll double threes then? Bruh. So they'll go like five plus three. Is there a better play? We could go one, two. What was what was I hoping on accomplishing by oh by playing this here? Probably preventing this removal would be a good thing, right? We can also just play these two. I mean, this is a good catch-up. We don't actually have to play this one. Save the uh the late game card. Boop 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 bounce an environment. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to still <laughs> Oh god, did he get Zemex super? Bro, come on man! <laughs> this guy's quasars are on point! How is he not dead yet? Oh. Oh. Yeah, we still have uh, a total of 24 health. Nice. No, he's still not dead. He's got one card left, too, I guess, if you count this next turn. Deadly. Okay. Make it three with the, with the block. I want to win the game. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, 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 bro. Plank Walker, jeez! Look at this guy coming in strong. So it's interesting, mogging one of these. We gotta mog the plank there, right? Damn. Man. Um, this doesn't really. This swashbuckler doesn't even do anything. I'm actually still saving. This card to so just just die for free here, because the the splash damage kills the two two. We don't need to contest it with a five five. It's a powerful card, you know. We'll just play that in one. Okay, you got another deadly. He's actually running Plankwalker, which is hilarious. We'll end up with a four one and then a five five. We have card advantage here, so I love how this goes to exactly three health and then dies to the splash. This the space time lives though. Come on, man! <laughs> okay. But he's not going to be able to deal with all of these lanes. This is going to go here. We just do need the one damage. And then this will go here. We don't want to put him in one lane so he smoke bombs. Who knows where this last card is. We should have him here. What would this card be that it would answer a 5-5 five, five and a 1-1? One, one? Okay. Still not. Did he get this toxic waste in? I bet he got it from barrel barrels, right? And he's running space time. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we're 2-0. <laughs> it's just gonna be such a pain to try to recreate this deck. But it's a control. He seemed for a deck that had space time and stuff in it. To be playing very slow in the early game. Oh, yeah, I know. Imagine he top deck just another plank walker the next turn. That would have been sad. All right, well, it's time to make an attack. I think I'm just going to delete this deck <laughs> every time. Here you go. I don't have I don't have space. I only I can only have 90 decks. I'm always teetering on 89 and 90. I just delete a deck every day. All right, Infinity. I don't know. He wasn't running Toxic. He got it from Okay, so we know he's running Barrel. He's running Con Man, right? Swashbuckler he got from, from Plankwalker, unfortunately. That would be nice. He's running Con Man, though, right? You guys let me know. Uh, we're running Plankwalker as a finisher. I might cut that to a 3 of. He's running Space Time. We'll run that as a 4 of. He, he's running Quasard. 
It's very interesting. I'm probably going to end up cutting the Planeswalkers to a 2 of Because it, it looks like he's actually running pretty decent early game. This will just be a backup plan. I think it's just going to... Yeah. He's running Tanklosaurus. He's running Laser Base Alpha. I think. Unless he conjured that from a space time. So this looks about right so far. Is there any cards that work well with the... Uh... No. Let's cut this to three. Uh, he's running Frosty. Here we are. Someone, okay, Frosty Mustache. I'll run that as a two. He's running Barrel of Dead Beards. He's probably running Final Mission. We'll run that at least as a two of. Con Man, Space Time, Laser, Plank, and he's running Bungie. Bungie should be fine. I'm gonna, I, I'm just, the way the deck seems to be built, it looks like it's not a control deck for Planeswalker. It's a control deck that happens to have Planeswalker just, just in case. And it almost, uh, <laughs> if we didn't have so much Astro Veras and stuff and dragons, the uh, Planeswalker actually could have finished this off there. All right, this deck's looking pretty good. He's not running Toxic Waste, and we got that from the barrel. So we have four cards. I'll kind of like put my spin on the deck with these next four cards here. We could run another Conjure. We could just run something that's good. Just some solid mid-range card. We can run Cowboy. I guess we need a finisher. So maybe four Cowboys would be good. Oh, yes, we are 2-0. Thanks for the reminder. Congo for fun. We could just run Yeti, which is a, not only a decent finisher, but it also kind of stalls for the Plankwalkers. We're also running Frosty Mustache in this deck. I think this run is a two of. Let's run like Yetis and a, and a third Plankwalker. <laughs> I feel like the Yetis kind of justify having an A drop, because now we can actually stall for it. Uh, this is more or less it. He didn't have fruitcake. I could add fruitcake. I think this is good. This is gonna be, uh... It's gonna be, uh... Deadly control. I like it. He didn't have raptor, though. Stop spamming. Bro. Again, the Barrel Imp came from Barrel of Barrels. I don't think he was actually running it in the deck. We are running two Barrel of Barrels. All right, this looks good. Got some deadly stuff. We got some stuff going on. This looks good. We need We're running lead. four tanks. Four tanks is a lot, isn't it? Uh, it'll be fine. I almost want a third Barrel of Barrels. This will be good. Thank you, Samaj, for six months. All right. So we go deck list. We put this up on the uh, on the thing. And we make the deck. Infinity, deadly, control. We managed to fit this deck onto three lines, too. I'm impressed. Nice, concise deck building here. He played Raptor. He was running Raiding Raptor. If he was running it, we have to run it. He really was? Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure you're positive? Oh, he was running, uh, I, I missed something. He was also running, um, he was running a uh, scoop environment. 
I missed a couple of cards. It's gonna make this a lot worse. He was running Raiding Raptor? Where was Raiding Raptor? No, he wasn't. There's no Raiding Raptor this whole game. As far as I can see. There's no Raiding Raptor. What are you guys say? Shut up and take my money. This is a cool idea for a stream. Thank you, Henry the Mild. Uh, he was running Scoopy Scoopy. Scoopy Poopy. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna ruin the the deck if we run Scoopy. I'll just do it like this. There's no, I don't have to make the exact. He's running one copy of Excavator. Let's just go, guys. Oh, he got Scoop from Frosty Mustache. Okay, never mind. It wasn't even running. Of course he got it from Frosty Mustache. Of course he did, guys. I don't even have to check. It's obvious. Let's go. Conjured Excavator. Let's go. Grass Knuckles. It means we get to be Grass Knuckles next. Time. This is fine. I think a deadly deck against Grass Knuckles is really good. High health and deadly. It's exactly what we want to see here. This looks like a decent starting hand, man. This is good. Is the bungee okay? We probably could get something better than the bungee. It's not bad. It's a little bit awkward mulganing this, but... Alright, that's better. I'm gonna play this... I guess I'll play it on ground. Bruh. Uh, who's controlling who? The real question. So, we don't actually have a... Pl oh, yes, we do, bitches! I wonder if this should go on heights. We have lasers somewhere in this deck. I just think if he spikeweed sectors here, it's a little sad. Let's go on heights with this. Yeah, this deck doesn't look half bad. The Yetis are a little weird, but I think it's okay. I love how the Yeti, again, could be a finisher and also can be sort of a stall for Plankwalker. I love how the Quasar gives the free power here. Love to see it. That's what we doing. I could just use Encrypt. Oh my gosh. Bring environment. Now that is what I'm talking about. That is literally what I'm talking about. So we just set up dry Tanklosaurus next turn and draw cards until he dies. He has protected. What is he playing around? Oh, conjuring a lightning bolt. That's a very weird protect there. So should I be... He's also protecting it for one damage here. Should I use this or save it for the Tanklosaurus? I think I'll use it. There's Bungie. Should the Tanklosaurus go in 3 or 4? It's pretty decent either because we have the Ice Moon. I think the fact this has so much health too, and we can freeze this this turn. It's also blocking damage. If he plays B-Rex, we probably want to block that instead. This is okay though. I am going to moon. I don't want him doing something next turn that kills the Tanklosaurus, since this thing is going to absolutely ruin this guy's day. In a good way. We're just going to use both barrels, first on the Tanklosaurus, then on something else. We're going to conjure cards, and this is just going to splash him to death. Love to see it. Oh my gosh. That went face. A little bit sad, because the Bungie would have finished one of these off. Like now, plan food doesn't do that. Doesn't do anything. Oh my gosh, here it goes, guys. So I think we bungee plumber this first because we really don't want to tank Lasaurus hitting this. We would like the deadly. We can also deadly this one. Let's just see what this first one gets, and then we'll decide which of these to deadly. Here we go. 
Got that one. Oh, we also could just rock it. I think drawing a card, though, is better, right? Which of these is the bigger threat? Well, I guess the Black IPS. On the other hand, he's doing so much damage to us. Yeah, this is this has got to be correct. Well. Well. <laughs> it's kind of tempting. I can also just Frosty this. And we'll only take four damage. Alright. The, the half measure. We won't take quite as much damage. Yes! <laughs> Die! <laughs> so <laughs> Deadly Tanklesaur has taken over the game. We're gonna get a, yet another shot here. Uh, his rumble won't do a damn thing. The man is definitely a piece of dead co toast. So we'll see what happens here. I love how this is gonna activate the Tanklosaurus. We'll put this in one. Really good. Bruh. Yes, you're dead! Okay, so now this goes here. I hope this wasn't a mistake, because, like, Plant Food Plus can just dominate us. Watch the instant regret happen. Bruh. So it's gonna be Bungie first. Let's just rocket this thing, man. <laughs> There's no... I really don't want to die. We need a leap! We need a leap! And we can deadly... Why not? I mean, this is a fine shot. So let's deadly the Quasar. He wants to... match up with this less. Die! <laughs> <laughs> really, Grass Knuckles dealing with again. He has Shamrock, it, but a low attack, high health must answer minion is Teleportation Zombie, Space Time, and Tinklosaurus. Hell yeah. So let's definitely hit him with the. Just don't want to get burst down here. Unfortunately, this is really going face a lot. A lot more than we would like it to. I love how we are protected this turn. A Grey Buster would have been also brutal. Yeah, alright, we, we got this one in the bag. Thank you, Yeet Pilot. Welcome to the Primally. Yeet! Speaking of Yeet. I don't think he realized he's triggering our Tanklosaurus ability by killing this. But anyway, all academic. He is 3 0. Alright, time to build a Grass Knuckles deck now. I'll let you guys... <laughs> Man, we're dominating the stream, let's go! <laughs> so... We'll go for the... the. Well, we have to delete this deck. This deck seems legit, though. It was a really... We got a really good matchup. We're getting rid of those two. Really good matchup uh, against uh, Grass Knuckles, well, people, so... So far, RN Jesus is on our side. Okay, what was he running? He was running for Get Me Nuts. I'm just gonna assume he had Photosynthesizer but didn't get it. Man, I'm lucky for him. Uh, he was trying to <laughs> He's actually running like this top tier deck here. Yeah, he's running Galacta. What else do we know about him? Guys, I need the deck. Try, uh, try uh, B-Rex. So we'll run that as a 4 of, because why the hell not? Iron Maiden? I'm guessing that's this, right? Uh, and Bonk Choi. Alright, Bonk Choi can be our third one. I don't mind Bonk Choi in this deck. So then we'll run some plant foods. Some Bananasaurus Rex. Uh, we're comboing on three, so they don't really need a three per se. We could run Captain Cucumber. I know, this is just such a typical Grass Knuckles deck. But, I mean, it's good, and we beat it. So we... we uh... I'll just put my, my swing on it right now. I'm going to put Blockbusters, Shamrocket... Are there enough peas for a Gatling? No. Um. 
This deck would lose pretty badly to gravestones, right? Not necessarily. Then I'll just do it like this. This is fine. Oh, he's running Pear Cub, you're right. And I, I would love to see some Pear Cub in this deck. He ran, he is running Pear Cub, okay. Uh, yeah, Pear Cub would be a great addition to this deck. I'm gonna trim like one of these and one of these. I'd like to get three Pear Cubs into this deck. He was not running Cosmic P. Is this good? I think we're good. Two, two, three, four. We got some bonuses. We got plenty of ones to do. This looks good. All right. Well, this is just going to be called Normie Package. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Every Grass Knuckles deck ever. Grass Knuckles got some good cards, though. Oh, he's such a popular hero, man. Grass Knuckles is brutal. Did I ban Grass Knuckles for the playoffs of the tournament? I'm pretty sure I did. Well, we don't know that he didn't have Photosynthesizer. We don't know that. We don't know. We we're running all the cards that he showed us. Photosynthesizer is very important for any deck that's running both um, Forget-Me-Nuts and... Explodey, explodey guy in the same deck. Let's ditch the Sham Rockets for now. I'm gonna get rid of Forget Me Nuts, I think. I know it's a little awkward. Yep, for a two. Gotta keep the Galacta then. If you have Galacta and Forget Me Nuts and you don't have Photosynthesizer, probably better to ditch one of them. You kind of look at the opponent. Hardy. I'm guessing that the Galacta is going to be better, especially since we have the Pair Cub. That's why I valued it over the Forget-Me-Nuts. If this was a Morticia or Brainstorm, though, easy Forget-Me-Nuts that you keep and get rid of the Galacta. Easy peasy. This is very likely going to be a Secret Agent deck. I mean, who spams Goat on one? The question is, should I even play this? I probably should. What if he just like healthy treats and we end up splashing this a million times? I probably should be playing around healthy treat. Maybe goat healthy treat is just this amazing turn one play. It's two cards for, I mean, it's a lot though. My gosh, he's actually running Camel Cross. Somebody kill me. I might use time to shine right now. I'm scared of this. Let's see what he does. This is a very weird time to shine, but it, it, it gives us the, the the activation next turn. Is this crazy to time to shine? We're also punished by the cat. I'm I'm scared enough of this. Can the cat go here? I don't think it can. I mean, he'll kill this next turn and then activates pair and we'll actually have a curve. God damn it. Well, Pear Cup's fine here, I guess. Sort of, not really. You are a little bit late to the party, my friends. Just, just a little. Oh my gosh, going viral. Going viral, just. We lose the game if he has going viral. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. I probably should have not played. I probably should have just developed Tricara. Oh my gosh, that's just as good. I probably should have just developed Tricara Tops Dry. I'm uh, underestimating the guy is ranked 10, but I should really be trying here. We are so far behind right now. Holy crap. If he passes, we shamrock it. Easy shamrock it. I'll develop my stuff next turn. To not get hit by more crap again. So now we be Rex. Now we be Rex. That's what we be. Nibble, 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 nibble. That's all the great things he's ran so far. Gosh, I'm weed spray. Okay. <laughs> Sell two for one. That's good. And in a card advantage game, we're winning. Shamrock, it's nice. Let's go. 
He's just gonna maniacal laugh and win the game, huh? Uh, let's just develop these. Play on alien is, I suppose. If he buffs us, we sham it. Another goat. What's with the goats, guys? Go ahead. I can just rock it then and see. Yummy, yummy zombies. Mm mm mm. Hell yeah. That's a really high value photosynthesizer. Oh, hey, it's a pet deck? Suddenly, it's a pet deck. I don't even know what's going on. One of these for starters. This mouse. This mouse. Uh, should I just plant food here? I think he's running Locust Sword. That would be insane. It's the same amount of damage. One of these hit, the other one gets blocked. Doesn't matter if we play this. He rolling stoned it anyway. He is protected! Just looking for a card. Oh my gosh, now we have to run escape through time. How, what am I gonna do with this deck though? You know what? This will be the day that we try Goat Healthy Treat on turn one, man. Ah, uh, it's lethal. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> four and oh. let's go for the five, guys. We're going for five and oh. This is way too much fun. All right, guys, for the last one, the answer's are already yes for the bats. Uh, for the last, for our last trick, we're going to have to somehow create the uh, rank 10. That guy was, was pretty dominant, too. Let's see if we can figure out what this guy was going for. And, you know, this is a cool, a neat way of, like, actually exploring new deck ideas. It's just always copy whatever the opponent does, you know? All right. So... People are writing down the cards for me. I, I very much appreciate it. Running Camel. Let's run some Healthy Treats. Brady Cat. Where's Frady? I think I'm going to run Secret Swimmer in this deck. Frady. We're running uh, Zookeeper. We'll run this as a 2 of. <laughs> running Going Viral. Area. Rolling Stone. I think there's something here. That 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 goat on turn one was scary as scary a F. You know what I'm saying? So we're on goat. We have uh, we have to run swimmer. Where's swimmer? All right, is this just a, is this a deck? <laughs> this is a bad deck? I feel like I'm missing some of the cards he played, too. We, oh, and we need weed spray. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh huh. We'll run this as a two of. We'll run, like, one weed spray. The guy couldn't have been running more than one. Oh, he's running nibble, too. I forgot. He had one nibble. One meat spray. <laughs> what else do we? What other? What else do we got? Escape through time. I forgot. Escape through time. One though. It clearly was a one of. Ah, uh, we gotta get rid of a car. <laughs> oh, well, you only had one zookeeper too, right? So you know. <laughs> I feel like for a secret agent, we're going to need more one drops. I don't think the secret agent is a very good idea anymore. I think we should just run like, um, just like teacher. He probably had teacher in the deck. Let's just, we can, we can presume. I think this is slight overkill. 
Okay, what if we ran two secret agents? Just to give this deck a shot. I'd love to be able to fit in. We don't know that he had this big goat either. Is this big goat even good? Maybe big goat is garbage. And we just run genetic experiments. <laughs> or cheese cutter. No, I think it's got to be genetic experiment, guys. He probably had genetic in his deck, you know? Alright, this looks good. This is a secret swimmer teacher goat deck thing with one. <laughs> I'm just I'm just like twisting. Oh yeah, that guy probably had this good card. Oh, he was only running one weed spray. I mean, let's be real. Alright, guys. This is called Secret Pile. <laughs> yes. We had the pile comments in the inscription stream today. Deck list. Let's make this deck happen, guys. <laughs> Secret pile. <laughs> Smash. Secret. Pile. Smash. Secret. Pile. Sounds like a caveman. Alright, guys. I, I think we could. I think this is game five. I think we could win with this deck. I think this is doable. Guy's secret pile. He definitely had more pets in this deck, didn't he? Secret pile. This deck should be called the goat, you're right. Oh no. Grass knuckles. I'm scared. I think the thing with the should I keep weed spray against grass knuckles? He'll never expect it. One, two. I should probably try to draw out his rumble. One, two, three. Alright, this looks fine. We're not gonna end up seeing any uh Draw out the rumble. Nope. I just feel like I'm getting jabated right now. Sheesh! Should I play this one? No, I think so. Are we getting jabated? Nope. Uh, that was really dumb. Uh, no it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it was dumb. It confirmed dumb, and it also went to the right, to the correct lane. I know splashing this would have been good too, but hell yeah! Why did he? Okay, anyway, nice play, bro. Uh, pretty sure we weed sprayed here. Get wrecked! God damn it! <laughs> That's why I don't run weed spray. Uh. I think we go face. It makes this not die to rumble, so that's good. Oh, no. Rumblies? Rumbles? Nope, no rumbles. So now we know. Well, we know he doesn't have rumble now. We. Oh, it goes again. It's again, you fool! Why would you? <laughs> Yay! This game is fun. So here's more damage. Here's this. Oh, we better win this, guys. I know, this Grass Knuckles doesn't understand how Cat works. He just doesn't know. How would he know? How would he know? Cosmic P? Eh, it's guaranteed lethal. Get wrecked. In fact, the Cosmic P just dies. To the splash- oh no, the splash doesn't happen. But we do have 14 health, so that's good. I forgot that this thing has 5 health, it's not dying to anything. What am I saying? Guys, we won with Trash Pile! <laughs> Easy! He doesn't know how crazy cat! Read the cards, guys. That's all, that's all you gotta say. Read the goddamn cards. Jeez! Alright, anyway. This sec this stream was a complete, utter success. Couldn't be better. I kinda like this deck, not gonna lie. I think this, this has some potential. We have to do some get with deck with like I will do a proper secret swimmer go with healthy treat. I think I like it. I think it's a thing. 
Anyway, you guys, uh, that was the copying the deck of the last opponent stream we went 5 0. Absolutely nailed it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I most certainly did. Heck yeah, it's going on YouTube. Peace, this is Fry.